Right, here we are, on to Dimension 5. Hey everyone, I'm Clue, and welcome back to my playthrough of Soda 2, where I'm trying to complete the game as perfectly as I can in the shortest amount of time possible. Now, to be honest, I have messed up a few things. Well, not necessarily messed up, but I could have made some priority choices that were a little bit better when it comes to relics and upgrades. But we're still, we're trucking along. Time-wise, it's not too bad. It's definitely nowhere near the 10-hour mark I was initially going for. But, you know, it's about time I finally get the run done. So here we are in Dimension 5. It's it's essentially just the same. Almost the start of every dimension is going to be uh, one Mystic, one Nurse, and four more Mystics until I can get enough gold where I can consistently get the Thief. But we do get one major thing, which is the enormous amount of Essence from beating the Dark Lord. So I go ahead and I split that evenly between Attack and HP, and this is something that might come to bite me in the butt. Because I do think I undervalue HP and overvalue attack. I think just being able to survive and clear dungeons in one run may end up being a better choice than than prioritizing attack. So for instance here I've had to clock out at 300 because I don't have the HP to survive had I just up mainly the HP relic. Yes, the world would have been slower, but I could have done it in almost one run, which means I could have spent one run farming, which farming is really good, especially if you've cleared the dimension, have full gear, and you can outweigh the stats of the relics with equipment. We do get a few quests, nothing really. I do grab the ruby so I can upgrade the forge. This comes in handy later. So it's, not, it's not too necessary. It would be great if you could easily find another ruby or skip this ruby and use it to get the 500 battle credits. That would really help things along get a decent amount of essence through that credits, but oh well. Uh, we itemize as best we can, craft anything we're missing. We'll start using Phantasmal Claws on the nurses so that they can chip in to put damage. And then just make sure every slot is filled on every character. So iron rings for HP and damage, shields and armor, as well as upgrading. We can split and use some power gloves, though I do, again, I need to value HP more than I value attack at the moment. Oh well. So we craft any armor we're missing, and of course, we will upgrade it as usual. I would like to keep one of certain items so that I can ensure I can craft in the next dimension, as stuff like the frying pan comes in handy so that I can continue to upgrade the kitchen. With everyone decked out, we should be able to move on to leveling up. I do do things a little bit slowly because there's just a lot to consider. Not only is there equipment, but also trying to even out HP amongst everyone and making sure everyone has stuff that, that suits them. Because again, the HP pool does change as the as the Mystics will have the greater level over both the Nurse and Dark Mages. But we would like to keep them at level. The the worst thing about this dimension is the boss again. So almost every boss has some big pain in the ass mechanic. So for instance, in Dimension 2, the Chameleon obviously has evasion and can generally outlast you in a fight. This dimension, the Mecha Lord, for whatever reason, does 252 damage with one of his attacks, making him, I believe he's the third strongest boss in terms of damage dealing. I'm pretty sure that the the Good Lord and Smite actually does more than the final boss as well. So it goes Good Lord, final boss, and then the Mecha Lord. And yeah, so I just have to try and get above, I think it's 252 HP so that I can win. If I don't have more than 252 HP, nothing I can do. So again, this is where I would have rather upgrading the HP relic a bit, a bit more. And obviously, item-wise, I, I wasn't focusing on leveling up weapons. I leveled up the armor and shields. Oof. We're in our gold, so I do have to sell some things, just whatever junks or red smithing crystals will do. And off we go. Now, can you see the issue? I have nowhere near enough HP. This dimension took me a lot of attempts which goes back into the simple fact that it's probably not doable. If I can poison him, like this, so, he's, I can win in essentially 10 rounds, guaranteed, because poison damage. So if he, as long as he doesn't back-to-back -back use the 252 laser beam like that, 245 because of the, the Dark Mage's damage resistance, we are fine. So we are, we are playing the odds, which is something I don't like. I really want to be able to do this run consistently, so this is one of the things I do have to rethink and do a bit better. And again, since we have a bit of time, looking at it, it does look like we'll take a little bit more, uh, to actually do the run effectively. I was farming in Dimension 1. I think that's a mistake. I think if I farm in Dimension 2 so that I can get Essence as well, I will be better off. And then I can use that Essence to hopefully make sure I can still clear 
the majority of dimensions in one run instead of two, which should also amount to a, a quicker time save. Lot, a lot of theory crafting gone into this, and it's still nowhere near complete. But, you know, that's the thing. Uh, again, I, I can't promise I will continue this or do anything further with it. But it is always there in the back of my mind, stuff I can do better. And that, to finish off the dimension, all we have to do is beat the arena. So it has been roughly two hours since our last arena attempt, meaning I am free to do the arena. Because again, I'm treating this as a non-segmented run, even though it is segmented. So I'm limiting myself to only do the arena every ten... Uh, sorry, every two hours, not ten hours. Ah, so Mystics for the regen, make sure we can always cast, and then just damage and HP, and it's fairly simple, all you have to do is spam. It doesn't really matter if I buy from the Blacksmith now or after, it doesn't reset with the Arena, which is really good, because obviously the Arena doesn't count for Magic Clock, so why would it uh, flag any of the other checks? So we're just grabbing the Maximum Essence, so uh, level 4, and yeah, just cast through, and the Dimension's done. There's, there's not too much else for me to talk about. Essence-wise, being able to get a consistent source like this is great, even though it doesn't actually benefit. Uh, I think a big thing about the run is I was banking on both the physical damage relic and the magic damage relic to really play a crucial role in layer dimensions, but in actuality they, they don't do anything. The amount of damage you can get from them is not substantial enough to make them beneficial. You're far better off just leveling a uh, the attack relic or the HP relic. So one likely scenario is you probably want to either swap to Carpenters since they have a higher damage overall and then you can just focus on leveling HP or in Dimension 2 using Pancakes on the Chef uh, you want to get to level 50 on the Mystics. I've, I've done the math, it's not unreasonable because you obviously you get 5 experience, you essentially double your experience with each Pancake use. The question is A, having enough resources to get it, and then B, being able to do it in a a short amount of magic clock uses. So on average, it's 10,000 levels, uh, sorry, 10,000 floors to reach a maximum level on a character. Uh, in this run, we get to 25, which is equivalent of, say, 1,000 floors, so we still have 9,000 floors to go. With using pancakes, halve it, so 45,000. Yeah, it, it would definitely be difficult, but it's probably one of the most likely choices to do the run more consistently, because if the nurses are max level, A, you can upgrade a relic easier, so you get HP from both their, their class relic and from the HP relic, and also increases attack, and B, they just have far better statting than any other character in terms of leveling. But I don't know, I don't know if it is doable. You might be able to skip over nurses, not for the entirety of the run, but for a large portion of it. Either way, that is Dimension 5 done. Again, there's not too much strategy to, that goes into it. It's really just Mystic and Nurse, and then Mystic, Nurse, and Dark Mages, and get the dimension done. It's it's fairly simple from this point onwards. We do run into a bit of difficulty with the later bosses, but you know we'll get to that when we get to it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed nonetheless. See ya.